going on, everybody? Happy, happy Tuesday. Well, I already got the first two pictures up on the screen today. I already got the first two pictures up. So, the one on the far left was emailed to me. And before I even get in this video, I just want to say I'm not trying to, like, degrade Fanatics Tops or anything like that out there. Uh, th this is kind of questionable, you know, because I've never seen a Kuna Auto like this before. I've searched and looked. Maybe it really is his. I have no idea. Uh, again, I'm not an autograph authenticator, but when I see something that looks different, it makes me wonder. Plus, we just had that definitive thing with Meadows and Arizona on it. So, you know, a lot of people are starting to look closer at this stuff here. And to me, it just don't make much sense onto this. So, again, this was emailed to me, and I just did a little bit of research onto it for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And I couldn't find it. So, video coming out, guys. Maybe you guys know a little bit more. Maybe you could push a little bit different out information out. And for, you know, either maybe Tops looks at it and says, hey, this is really his stuff, you know, type deal. Or, hey, we made another error. We don't know how this came about type deal. No idea. But, again, not trying to bring any kind of shame or bad publicity on anybody onto stuff onto this. It's just more like more of awareness because I've never seen this before. And it just made me wonder offhand. So this is out of Sterling this year. You can see the two autos. To me, even the R looks different in both of these. And I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Junior. Well, I know because the way he writes on it to it. But I've never seen anything with a Junior on to it either. And I'm going to show you guys some other pieces here. So I thought, well, maybe he signed everything like that in Sterling this year, right? There's him and Soto. And I should note, both the ones on the left, number 2 out of 5, number 3 out of 5. The Soto's out of 5, too. And I just was looking at them like, huh. I found another Chipper Acuna from last year. And Chipper looks pretty much the same on to it. So, really just the Acuna that I'm just maybe unaware of. Maybe others know more on to it. And I've dug. Oh, I dig trying to find stuff. And I only found one thing that I'll pull up. That I'm going to show you what all I looked at today between eBay and... uh. Google. Good old Google pull you up all kind of images. But, again, I don't know, maybe one of you guys know more on to this. It's down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Goes to the Braves games, have stuff signed by him, you know, in person. Because when I'm looking at this, like, the A looks different at the end on both of, uh, of the ones on the left. The R looks different. The D and Ronald looks different. Um... Like, one looks like it's printed, kind of, in a way, on the, the middle one. And then on the far left, kind of looks like it's kind of cursive in Ronald. I don't know. All right. Let me do this now. I'm going to pull these down. Well, I'm going to leave you up. And we'll pull this up. So, I found this. I'm going to scroll this over. This is a in-person, or whatever you guys want to call them, autographs. This is the only thing I found close, right? No junior on it. And look at this. The D looks different. I mean, it looks like the L goes into the D. The R definitely look, or looks different than what I've seen on both the other ones. So, again, I looked at this, and then the A really threw me. So, I can't really show it because I have my mouse on this. But look at the A, where you have, like, the... I call it the upside-down wishbone... And then you see the line that makes the A for the middle. Look at the other one. It comes up in a diagonal and cuts over. So it kind of like when I looked at it, I'm like, huh. It don't look exactly the same to me. All right. I'm not trying to influence anybody to like go with what I'm seeing and stuff. It's just what I see offhand. All right. We'll pull this down. So I, I scrolled through all these today, uh, looking at this stuff. And we're, I, this is the only one I found that was even similar, and it was in person. This, of course, is the one that's up where I have a picture of already. Same with this one here. And that's the other picture I have. But, I mean, I started looking through all these, and I could not find anything. Here's another in person. This is what I wanted to pull up, too. It was done by Beckett, graded. What we're used to seeing for an Acuna Auto. I 
A triple. All fits in there. I know some people say it's small and stuff in the area. You might They might change their signature a little bit, but that's really a whole lot. There's a triple. There's another triple on here, too. I looked at Panini. There was a Leaf one somewhere on here, too. There's Dynasty. Definitive this year. No Junior anywhere on these, either. I'm trying to find the triple. Uh, you know why? Because they shift around every time I do this. That's why. There's the Leafs that I looked at right here. Because I figured maybe going way back into Trinity. Well, that's 2020 Trinity. But there's some. there was another one I found. 27 Trinity. There's another in person right here. Becca did. Same thing. I think I went three pages deep onto this to be offhand. Hey. Mine's out of five. I got one of them. Um, another one right here done by PSA. Kunato we're used to. There's the older ones from the rookie year. And if you guys remember, he did these where they went off card. They were streaky. It was hard to get the autographs graded. I'm guessing this was in person here. There's a triple right here. Even smaller area with that patch is there. He's still got his stuff on there. More Panini, all that stuff. All right. So I did Google. Where are you? Is this one autographed? There's his autograph on jersey. I thought maybe he changed his autographs because of jerseys, balls, different materials, different things he writes with. I mean, I thought I'd try to think of everything. Nothing there. Mm. There's one going that way. I think some of these are double pictures. That's going up. And see, that's the weird thing, because it looks like it has the apostrophe above the A, and it's a tilde above the N. Remember that from Spanish class. But, I mean, I went through all this stuff onto here, these Google images, till I got pretty tired of it. But if you scroll up to the top, you got more cards. Not to try to get you guys dizzy by doing it quick. But this is what I was going through real quick. I'm like, alright, all the same. Going through here, I'm not seeing anything different. I don't know. Do not know the answer to this question, but to me, it just does not look right to me. Again, like I said, you know, different markers, different things you sign with. You know, we're used to, like I said, the far one on the right to where he signs like that, goes off card, and has that little hook on the bottom of the first uh, R. You know, it gets streaky to where it's like dark to light where he puts the pen down at. And then I looked at these, and I compared it to the, the first Beckett one. It just looked off as well, too, onto it. To where one looks like there's a tilde above the N to an apostrophe thing above the A on the second. The Ds look different in both of those out of five on the left. The Rs look different to me. You know, one looks like it's trying to be all cursive in one. The other one looks like there's kind of like cursive mixed with printing onto it. I don't know. I'm hoping that somebody out there that watches these videos that has more knowledge on to it can come forward. Maybe they have something autographed from a game like this from them. I'm not sure. Not sure at all on to it. But wanted to get a video out like I said today. Uh, main focus was to determine is, is that really his auto or not because for my knowledge and for a few other people's knowledge out there. We're not trying to point the finger at Fanatics Tops. Uh, saying there's some kind of conspiracy theory going on, you know, we're trying to defame them and all this other stuff. It's not, it's just questions. And whenever you first look at this and you think of what just how would defend if questions are going to arise out there, they really are.
So hopefully somebody can give you a little bit more example. Again, this is already on Discord. I posted a little bit before this video. So if you guys belong on Discord, you got pictures, you can send them there. Or if you got uh, want to send them my email, I'm just really curious on to it because I don't see anything like this the way he has these autographed. And pictures one and two to me look completely different in a way on to And I got it where a lot of times guys who come in like Otani, Acuna, you know, from other areas, not in the United States, their autographs can change real quickly, especially if they don't know how to sign and write, you know, uh, English very well and stuff like that too. But take that all into consideration. Seeing what I saw online, I just, I don't know. I have a hard time believing that, you know, that's his signature. I've never seen one with Junior on it either. Just something really different offhand. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments. Again, feel free to email me or post on Discord. You guys have a good one. See you all next video.